Good morning, welcome. This will be an Ashtanga yoga class where we will be flowing through uh, the first half of second series and then a mix of poses that come around the middle of second series and some a little bit more towards the end. So I'm not going to follow the traditional way so much. I'm going to mix in some stuff that I just think has a good, uh, good flow and a good vibe to it. Let's start in Samastitihi. Bring your hands together. Close the eyes. And we'll do the full opening chant this morning. Starting with the chant of Om and then call and response where I'll chant a line one time. And you're welcome to chant along with me as we repeat that line a second time. Oh. Vande Gurunam Charanara Vinde Vande Gurunam Charanara Vinde Sandara Shita Swahatma Sukava Bode Sandara Shita Swahatma Sukava Bode Nishreya Se Jangalika Yamane Nishreya se jangalika yamane Samsara hala hala moha shantyaye Samsara hala hala moha shantyaye Abahu purushakaram Abahu purushakaram Shanka chakrasi darinam Shanka chakrasi darinam Sahasra shirasam shvetam Sahasra shirasam shvetam Pranamami patanjalin Pranamami patanjalin Namastiti, Sri Namaskar A. Ekam inhale, look thumbs, lifting the arms overhead. Dwe exhale, fold, gazing down the nose towards belly button. Trini inhale, look up. Chatwari exhale, step back and lower down, Chaturanga. Pancha inhale, up dog. Shot, exhale, down dog. And breathe about five breaths. Find your own natural rhythm. End of next exhale, bend the knees and look to the hands. Sapta inhale, step forward or jump and look up. Ashta exhale, fold in. Nava inhale, lift the arms. Samastitihi exhale. Egam inhale, lift the arms, round two. Dwe exhale, fold forward. Trini inhale, look up. Chatwari exhale. Pancha inhale. Shut, exhale. And breathe. Actively draw the collarbones back. Push out through your palms. Balance opening the chest with supporting the lower back. Engaging the core and the back of the legs. Feel the breath. And 
Next exhale, look thumbs, bend the knees. Supta, jump or step. Inhale, look up. Ashtal, exhale, folding in. Nava, inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, samastiti. Round three. Egam, inhale, look thumbs. Dwe, exhale, pull back the pubic bone, scoop in the low belly, and then round it at the end. Trini, inhale, look up. Pushing into the hands, chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. And then try curling in from the core a little more, looking towards the navel. Exhale to bend the knees, look to hands. Supta, jump. Inhale to look up. Ashtav, exhale. Nava, inhale. Samastitihi. Last one. Egam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. Exhale to bend the knees, look thumbs, Sapta jump, inhale, Ashtao exhale, Nava inhale, Samastitihi, Surya Namaskar B, bend the knees, Ekam inhale, chair pose, Dwe exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. Right foot, warrior one. Sapta, inhale. Look to thumbs. Ashtao, exhale. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale, left foot warrior one. Ekadasha, inhale. Dwadasha, exhale. Triodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. And breathe in down dog. Explore letting the shoulder blades go up to the ears more. And try to lift your forearms away from the ground, engaging into the upper back. On your next exhale, bend the knees and look thumbs. Pancha to Sha, jump. Inhale. Shoda Sha, exhale. Sapta to Sha, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Ekam, inhale, raise the arms. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. 
Trini inhale, look up. Chatwari exhale. Pancha inhale. Shot exhale, right foot warrior. Sapta inhale. Ashtal exhale. Nava inhale. Dasha exhale, left foot forward. Ekadasha inhale. Dwadasha exhale. Trayodasha inhale. Chaturdasha exhale. Breathe deep. End of exhale, bend the knees, lift the chin, puncha to sha, jump, inhale. Show to sha, exhale. Bending the knees, sapta to sha, inhale, lift the chin behind the arms. Samastitihi, exhale. Bend your knees. Ekam, inhale, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale, right foot forward. Sapta, inhale, roll up. Lift the shoulders, look thumbs. Ashtao, exhale. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Left foot forward. Ekadasha, inhale. Look thumbs. Dwadasha, exhale. Trayodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. Exhale, lift the heels, spread the toes. Pancha to sha, jump. Inhale. Shoulder sha, exhale. Bending the knees. Sapta to sha, inhale. Samastitihi, exhale. Parangushtasana. So separating the feet hip width. Inhale, lift the chin, hold the big toes. Dwe, exhale, fold forward, bowing in, and breathe. You might try elbows out to the sides to integrate more of the back bending pattern. And let the shoulders hang down towards the ears. Keeping hold of the big toes. Trini, inhale, look up. Exhale, pause there. Parahastasana. Ekam, inhale, step on the palms of the hands, lift the chin. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, look up, scoop in the low belly. Exhale, samastitihi, draw the core in, ribs in, stand tall. 
Trikonasana. So taking the feet three feet apart, inhale, right foot out, Dwe exhale, take the shin or hold the big toe, look to the top thumb. Tear the mat apart with the feet while spiraling the left leg in initially. And try squeezing the feet towards each other, co-activating the muscles on the inner and outer legs, the front of the thigh and the back of the thigh. So if you can feel the hamstrings activating or contracting in the back of the right leg, that's the same engagement that we use in back bends. On the inhale, come up, Trini, parallel feet. Chatwari, exhale, reach down for the left toe or shin, look to top thumb. Punch and hail, come up. B variation, right foot out, left foot stepping in 45 degrees. Dway exhale, take the left hand down beside the foot. Look to top thumb if that's comfortable. Otherwise modify looking down. Exhale, look down. Trini, inhale, come up. Either side. Chatwari, exhale. Right hand coming across. Exhale, look down. Pancha, inhale, come up. Samastitihi. Parsifal Konasana, extended side angle. Agam, inhale, take a long stance again. Right foot out. Dwe, exhale, bend the knee. Try touching outside of the foot and pressing the knee out into the arm. Gaze to the top thumb. Lifting the chin behind the arm. Trini, inhale, come up, parallel feet. Chatwari, exhale, other side, touching outside of the foot, gaze to top thumb. Pancha, inhale, come up. B variation, revolve side angle. So, Dwe, exhale. Lunge on left toes to help your left arm outside of your leg. And then lifting the knee, hands to prayer or touch down. In the final form, try to flatten the back foot. Exhale, look down, bring your left knee to the floor. So we're gonna incorporate this uh, non-second series pose to really help with the first posture of second, Pashasana. Left arm outside the leg, top arm behind the back for a half bound position. So you could work it that way, looking over your right shoulder. Option two, full bind, grabbing your right hand or wrist. And then once you've found your pose, bend your right knee a little bit more, push strongly through the heel, and then lift the left knee. So this is imitating more of the Pashasana position.
Exhale, look down, lowering the knee, and then releasing the bind, inhale up, turn to the other side. Exhale, lunging on back toes, twist, right arm outside the leg. Option to flatten the back foot, five breaths. Exhale to lower the back knee, half or full bind, start with the top arm behind the back, and then maybe you take the right arm under the leg. Bend the left knee more, load up the heel, engaging the glute, and then pick up the right knee. Keeping the heel down, go as far forward as you can, past the toes, just like Pashasana. On your exhale, lower the knee, look down and release the bind. Inhale, come up, turn to the side. Exhale, samasthitihi. Wide-legged fold, prasarita parottanasana. Ekam inhale, hold the waist, opening to the side. Dwe, exhale, fold and touch the ground. Again, inhale, lift the heart, take the feet a little wider. Trini, exhale, bend the arms and walk the hands back underneath the elbows. Breathe deep. Chatwari, inhale, lift the head, exhale. Pancha, inhale, come up, exhale. B variation. Akam, inhale, spread the arms. Dwe, exhale, catch the low belly. Again, inhale, suck in below the navel, Uddiyana Bandha. Trini, exhale, keeping the hands at the waist, fold for five. Aiming the crown of the head away from the pelvis. Uh, Chatwari, inhale, come up. Minced my Sanskrit there. Exhale. C variation. Oh, our screen time is down from last week. That's a good sign. C variation. Akam, inhale, spread the arms. Dwe, exhale, interlace the fingers. Again, inhale, open your chest. Trini, exhale, pull through the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. If you are quite loose in the shoulders, there is the option to flip the palms, pressing out through the palms, internally rotating the shoulder while keeping the retraction of the shoulder blades. That's that same alignment action you can use in all of your back bends. All your up dogs, your camels. One more breath. Last exhale, bend the knees. Chatwari, inhale, come up. Exhale, D variation. Akam, inhale, hold the waist, lift the chin. Dwe, exhale, fold, catch your big toes. Again, inhale, heart is lifted, chin can lift. Trini, exhale, bend the arms and fold, strong in the upper back. Press the wrists away from each other.
Chatwari inhale, lift the head. Exhale, bend the knees a bit. Pancha inhale, come up, hands to the waist. Samastitihi, exhale. Parshwa Tanasana. Ekam inhale, take the hands to prayer behind the back. Right foot out, left foot in. Dway exhale, fold over your right leg. You could have your fists together as well as an alternative. Look towards your right big toe. And try to tear the mat apart with the feet, actively flexing into the right hip. Trini inhale, come all the way up and turn, right foot in, left foot out. Chatwari exhale, folding over the left leg. Punch inhale, come up, turn to the side. Samastitihi. Sri Namaskar. Ekam inhale, lift the arms. Dwe exhale, fold forward. Trini inhale, look up. Chatwari exhale. Pancha inhale. Shot, exhale, bend your knees. Pashasana, so hop forward like a chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, left arm behind the back for a half-bound position, turning the shoulder in. Reach for the opposite hip. Right arm outside of your left thigh. Bring your ribs as close to the thigh as you can. Heavy on the heels. And breathe. If you have long arms, you might grab the back of your heel. The next phase is the full bind, so if you know it, go ahead and do it. I'm going to give it a try, and I'll probably fall backwards. Not even close. <laughs> Inhale up to center. And exhale, switch. Right arm wraps around the back, reaching for the other hip. Left arm outside of the right thigh, turning the shoulder inwards. And then sit as low as possible. Gazing over the shoulder. Inhale up to center. Exhale, hands down, heels up. Inhale, crow pose, bakasana. Next phase, you do it with your knees together. Lalasana. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale through sitting. Right leg folds back, krunchasana. The right leg is in a hero's pose. Exhale to grab hold of your left foot. Inhale, lift the heart, leaning back. Lift the chin, you can stay here. Or exhale to pull the leg in towards you. And breathe. Once the leg is straight, you can explore pointing the left foot or pressing out through the ball of the foot for the same effect. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, keep the leg up, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift what you can. Swing your foot underneath your right knee. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side. Inhale, sitting. Left leg folds back. 
Exhale, catch the right foot. Inhale, lean back, lifting the heart. You can stay there. Or exhale to point the foot or press through the ball of the foot. Next stage is starting to pull the leg in towards you a little more. Keep the gaze up to the right big toe. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, keep the leg up, hands down. Swinging underneath the left knee. Inhale, lift what you can. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, lay down for shalabhasana A and then B, locust pose. First form has the fingernails on the floor, legs together. Inhale, lift the shoulders away from the ground. Lift the legs up and breathe. Keep the gaze down the nose. Actively squeeze the inner thighs. Now place the hands like Chaturanga. Keep the legs up for B variation. Five more breaths. Exhale, lower the feet about hip width, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lay down for frog pose, bekasana. Right forearm parallel to the front of the mat. Use it on the inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, left hand reaches for the inside of the foot and then pull the foot in towards you. At some point, rotating the shoulder around. Five breath. Actively resist, pressing the foot and hand against each other. You can also explore engaging the buttock and relaxing it. Exhale to let go. With an inhale, use your left forearm to pull back, lifting the heart. Exhale, right hand reaches for the inner foot, and then press that foot towards the armpit. And resist, foot and hand pressing back against each other. Explore hugging the elbow in towards the ribs a little. Exhale to let go. Vinyasa, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bow pose, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lay down, bend your knees. Inhale, lift everything up. You could stay here to modify or exhale to catch the outside edges of the feet. Big toes touch, knees apart. Kick back to lift everything up. Squeeze the shoulder blades while rotating the shoulders in. Exhale, come down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lay down, bow pose B. Modify by taking your right arm out to the side and rolling over towards it. Otherwise, full bow on the inhale. Lift the knees. Exhale, roll to the right. Five breath. Keep the pose active, extending your hips. Opening the whole front line. Inhale, center. Lift everything up again. Exhale, roll the other way.
Inhale, center. Lift everything up. Five more breaths. Your favorite part, Soph. Exhale, down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, from the core, downward facing dog. Inhale, kneeling. Come into camel pose, ushtrasana. Point the feet with the legs parallel. And think of squeezing a yoga block in between the thighs without actually doing it, just to fire up those inner thigh muscles. From that inner leg connection, low belly scoops in. Inhale, loop the shoulders up and back. Hands to sacrum. Option two, exhale, tension the core. Go back to catch your feet and then re-lift the heart. In either pose, open the throat and we'll take five more breaths. Spinning the shoulders in. And with core strength, Come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lagu Vajrasana. Inhale, lower the knees. Same setup as camel. Exhale, hands forward. Tension the core and go back in space. Repeat that five times. So next phase is bringing the hands back by the calves, release the head back, tension the core, and hold, going as close to the floor as you can hold the posture. Keeping the head back, throat open, inhale to come up. So that action is uh, breathing into a strong core. Exhale, hands down. You can step back or try Lalasana, pressing the knees up to the chest on an inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees again. And so you can try either of those variations one more time. Holding this variation for five or repeating the previous one for five. And that's really going to be the foundation for the next pose, uh, which I'm going to try today. It's been quite a long time since I've done it. Kapotasana. Squeeze the inner leg line. Honor the natural curve of the spine. So you can try that in uh, the previous pose with more of a back bend. Kapotasana, the arms go overhead. Quite challenging. Exhale to find the core. Inhale to come up. And exhale. Hands down. Step back through plank on an inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale through sitting. And the next pose is done with a partner, usually sitting and holding your hands as you drop back. So we'll have to get a little creative today. Take your hands about half a foot behind you, and then raise the legs up. Now exhale, go back in space, lower the legs to hover. Inhale, come up, and repeat five times. And then come down almost all the way. Hold for five breaths. One, two. Three, option to release the head. Four, five, inhale up. Exhale, release the pose, vinyasa. Inhale, lift your step. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, hop forward to a squat. Crow pose, bakasana. 
Exhale, knees wide, hands down. Inhale, lift for five breaths. Next exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Round two, so you can try jumping into it. In the beginning, it helps to have a short distance between the hands and feet. And think about using your breath. Inhale to lean in. Okay, next phase is inhale to jump from a short distance, gradually bigger and bigger distance. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale through sitting. Fold the left leg back and take the right foot to the inner thigh. You could stay here and twist to your right, or take the right foot to Lotus Padmasana. In either variation, right arm behind the back, half bind, holding the foot or holding the back of the shirt. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, release the pose for a vinyasa. Cross your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, other side. Exhale, left foot inner thigh or left foot to half lotus. Taking the left arm behind the back. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release the pose. Cross your legs. Vinyasa. Inhale to lift. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sitting, half lord of the fishes. Right leg over top. Exhale, twist to your right. You can take a half bound position with your left hand holding on to the left ankle and the right arm reaching for the opposite hip. Engage through the left side of the core, the apana pattern, to help lengthen the right side. This also gives added protection to the hip joint. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the pose, vinyasa. Inhale, lift your step. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side, inhale through. Left leg on top. Exhale, twist. Right hand or arm outside the legs. You can reach for the right ankle with that hand. And then left arm around the back for a half bound position. In the full traditional form, you actually, instead of holding the ankle, you try to reach for the inner arch of the foot. So if you are doing that, be sure to rotate your shoulder in to prevent hyperextension in that shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release, cross legs, and vinyasa. Inhale, lift your step. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then we'll skip ahead. Lower your knees to the floor. Set up for Pincha Mayurasana Dolphin Pose. So if you're going to use a wall, it's a really good approach. You'd have your fingers just a few inches from the wall. 
lift your hips, and then kick one heel into the wall. Keep the other leg off the wall. Five breath one side, and then kick up and do the other side. Only the foot touches the wall. Oh, switch sides if you haven't yet. Once you're ready to come off the wall, try bringing the legs up to the sky together. And then exhale down, come back to your space. Move through a vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees to the ground. Set up like table position and then flip the hands so that your fingers are aiming at your knees. Bring the hands pretty close together. A few inches apart is fine. And then look for the angry cat spine. So as you exhale, core strong, tail tucks under. And then we bring that with leaning forward and bending the elbows into the belly all together. Bend the arms, tuck the tail, <sighs> press the top of one foot into the floor, then the other. Squeeze your legs together. Breathe here. Next phase, come forward a little bit. The weight transfer will lift the legs. Try to stay parallel to the ground. And release. From table, flip the hands around and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sitting, take your right leg forward. Left knee behind it. Cow pose, Gomukhasana. So often in Hatha Yoga, it's taught with the feet uh, wide apart. That's fine to do. If it's available to your knee joints, come forward. And you actually try to sit on the heel of the bottom foot. You might not sit back all the way, but that's the, the intention is to sit back on the heel. So the feet come in closer towards the midline. And then hands over the top knee. Take an in-breath to lift the heart. Exhale to lower the chin, five breath. Keep lengthening up through the crown. Inhale, look forwards, lift the right arm up. If possible, bind the left arm, so left hand comes under. You could use a strap to bridge the gap or a resistance band, or simply push back on the right arm with your free hand. If it's available, press the back of the head against the top arm. Look up between the eyebrows, beginning to lift the chin a little. Exhale, look forwards, vinyasa. So if you'd like to try peacock again, you can bring the hands to the floor. And then as you bend the elbows into the stomach, inhale to lift your legs. Exhale, landing the feet, flip the hands around. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left knee forward to the floor, right leg behind it. Gomukhasana, so you could be doing it with the feet wide sitting back or Ashtanga style where the feet go closer to the midline. So you could potentially sit on the right heel. I like to get it just right so my uh, calf is getting a really deep massage from the lower leg. And then once you find your pose, hands over the front thigh. Ooh, what a burn. Tall spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, left arm up. You can push back on that arm or try binding. Press the back of the skull against the arm if possible. Look up between the eyebrows. Fine breath.
Exhale, release, lower your hands. And then optional Mayurasana, inhale. Exhale, land it, flip the hands around. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Finishing series, inhale through sitting. Exhale to lay down, bridge or wheel three times. Inhale, prepare, set the hands. Exhale, scoop the tailbone forward. Inhale, press up all the way and breathe. I'll find stillness in your posture. Exhale, touch the head down. Inhale up to round two. Maybe the hands go a little closer to the feet. Keep squeezing the inner leg line. Work the inner thigh muscles. Exhale, touch the head down. Last round, inhale up. If you know drop backs, go for it. Try to stand up. Now when you're finished, we'll meet in a squatting position. And from your squat, take a vinyasa. Inhale, lift your step. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pachimottanasana, forward bend. Inhale, sitting. 10 breath. Legs out in front. Exhale, take hold of the feet. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Allow the spine to round, elbows towards the floor. Inhale to look up. Exhale, cross the legs, vinyasa, knees towards shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, sitting. Exhale, sit back, lay onto your back. Shoulder stand, sarvangasana. Inhale, prepare, bending your knees. And on the exhale, lift the legs to the sky. Supporting the low back with the hands. Ten breath. A gaze up to the feet. Exhale, plow pose, halasana, lowering the feet towards the back of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, ear pressure pose. Squeezing the knees towards the sides of the head, feet together. Inhale back up to shoulder stand. Crossing the legs on the exhale, 
Option to move into lotus if that's in practice. Eight breath, supporting the low back, or take the hands to the knees. If you press the knees against the hands, that helps to activate the hip flexors a bit and lift the buttocks up. So as power. And then you can soften the upper belly quite a bit. With an exhale, fold the legs in towards your stomach. Eight more breath. And exhale, lower your spine down. Fish pose, Matsyandrasana. Squeezing the inner legs, lift the heart on the in-breath. Release the top of the head towards the floor. Squeeze the inner thighs. Flying fish, scooping the tail under. Bring the legs up about 45 degrees. And then reach the arms forward, parallel to the legs, hands together. Exhale, bend the knees, lower the feet. Chakrasana, spinning wheel pose. If you know it, go for it. Otherwise, simply rock up into sitting. One big exhale if you're going for it. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Shir Shasana, headstand. Inhale, lower the knees. Use wall space if necessary. Exhale, forearms to the floor, interlacing the fingers. Placing the head down. Inhale, push through the wrist, lift the legs up, and cultivate stillness. The forearm to elbow is your apana power, the serratus anterior. And then the wrist is that connection to the prana pattern, keeping the collarbones broad and open. This also invites the rotator cuff to get more involved. Some of the little stabilizers of the shoulder. Continue to slow your breath down. And exhale halfway down. Five breath. Point the feet. This encourages the psoas to not overwork. And come up, inhaling. Attempt to lift the head. Not today. When you're finished, sit back into child's pose. Move through vinyasa, inhale to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. And last few finishing poses. 
usually 10 breath or 20 breath. We'll just do five today in each one. So simple cross leg, hold the elbows behind the back or Padmasana, attempting to hold the feet. Inhale, lift your heart up and exhale, fold forward, five breath. With a strong opening in the chest, inhale to lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, hands over the knees, yoga mudra, tall spine. Lift the heart and lower the chin. Eyes are barely open. It's called the no mind mudra. So it's almost like, uh, like being a little bit stoned. Just barely open. Look to a point in front of you, softening the effort. Inhale, lift the head. Last posture. So exhale, cross the ankles. If you're in lotus, stay in lotus. If you're modifying like me, lean forward a bit. So hands are just below your knees. Pick up the buttocks and then make an effort to draw the knees to the shoulders. Keep holding that posture. If you're in lotus, you know what to do. I'm going to join you there. Squeeze the inner leg line strongly. Exhale down, last vinyasa. So if you are in lotus, you might try one more mayurasana, one more peacock. Coming onto the tops of the knees, rock forward. Flip the hands around, tuck the tail, elbows to belly. Inhale up, lift the chin. And then exhale, continue through your vinyasa. Up dog on an inhale, down dog, exhale. Inhale, top of the mat, samastitihi. Exhale, fold in. And then inhale to standing, samastitihi. We'll do a short chant with the hands together. Call and response style, starting with Om as a group. Om. Lokaha samastaha. Lokaha samastaha. Suki no babantu, Suki no babantu. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And back to Samastitihi. One last three in Namaskar. Akam inhale, lift the arms, look thumbs. Dwe exhale, fold forward. Trini inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, sitting, inhale. Exhale, lay down. Shavasana at last. <sighs> so thank you very much for joining me today. Take as long of a Shavasana as you can. Uh, that is quite an energizing practice. Um, usually I'm a big coffee drinker, but I find that if I do second series, I'm, I'm good sans caffeine. So I hope this worked for you today as well as it did for me. And uh, thank you so much for joining. Treat yourself to a long shavasana. <laughs>